little fish talks. Paul is arrested. Some Jews from Asia who were visiting Jerusalem saw Paul after he came back to the city. They did not like Paul and his teachings about Jesus. So when they saw Paul go into the temple, they began to shout. Help, they shouted. This man teaches people to disobey the Jewish laws. He says bad things about the temple. He even brings Gentiles into the temple. They had seen Paul earlier that day with a man who wasn't Jewish, so they thought Paul had taken the man into the temple. Before long, the people of the city formed an angry mob. These people dragged Paul from the temple. They were trying to kill him. But the Roman army commander heard about this. He gathered some soldiers and ran to see what was happening. When the Romans came, the mob stopped beating Paul. The Roman commander thought Paul must have done something wrong, so he arrested Paul and put two chains on him. Then he asked the crowd who this man was and what he had done wrong. The commander took Paul into a Roman army building, but the crowd became violent. They kept shouting, Kill him! Kill him! Then Paul spoke to the commander in Greek. The commander was surprised. Please let me talk to these people, Paul said. Then he began to speak to the mob in their own language. Paul gave a powerful sermon. He told how he had hurt many Christians. He told how Jesus had talked to him on the road to Damascus. Then he told how God had called him to preach to the Gentiles. When Paul said Gentiles, the mob began to shout again, Kill him! They shouted, He isn't good enough to live. The commander couldn't understand Paul's message. He didn't speak the language Paul used. So he thought Paul must have done something wrong. He ordered his soldiers to bring Paul inside and whip him until he told them what he had done wrong. Isn't it against the law for you to whip a Roman citizen? I haven't even had a trial, Paul said to the soldiers. They were afraid. They could get in trouble. So they told him, the commander, what Paul had said. Now the commander was afraid. The next day, the commander took Paul's chains off. He took Paul to a meeting of the Jewish leaders. Now he was sure that he would find out what was wrong. Some of the Jewish leaders believed in the resurrection of the dead, and some did not. These men began to pull on Paul. The commander was afraid he would pull them apart, so he took Paul back to the Roman army building. God talked to Paul that night. Be brave, God said. You have told the good news about my son Jesus to people here in Jerusalem. Now I will take you to Rome so that you can tell people there the good news.